My name is Michael Dorn. I'm farming in County Wexford in the southeast of Ireland. I'm the fourth generation of Dorn to be farming the land. We're farming here since the late 1800s. The farm comprises of 80 hectares with an additional 20 hectares leased in. We operate a suckler beef system and a sheep flock on the farm. The beef production system operating on this farm is based around a herd of 90 suckler cows, predominantly limousine cross cemental cows, uh, using a Charlet and limousine bull as terminal sires. All animals born on the farm are fattened between 18 and 24 months of age. Behind me we can see a group of 18-month-old uh, heifers which are due for slaughter in about 10 days time. Uh, they will weigh about 320 kilo carcass weight, grade R pluses and U's with a fat cover of 3 which is an ideal supermarket specification. The main diet that these animals have had for their life is based on grass. We aim to be at grass for 200 plus days per year with short indoor periods during the winter months. Our farm is also participating in the Rural Environmental Protection Scheme, which sees the entire farm farmed to an environmental plan under a five-year contract operated by the Department of Agriculture. Under this plan, we protect water courses to help improve water quality on the farm. As can be seen here behind me, a one and a half meter buffer zone is protected around the rivers where all livestock are excluded from the water course to help improve water quality. By having the one and a half meter buffer zone along water courses and rivers helps improve biodiversity along our river beds and banks and also by excluding stock uh, and cattle from grazing this uh, one and a half meter buffer zone increases wildlife habitat along our rivers and water courses. As part of the REP scheme Hedges on this farm, as you can see here behind me, are cut only once every three years to promote the growth of wildlife habitats and ensure a year-round supply of food for our birds. We grow one hectare of linnet uh, for bird cover on the farm every year. This crop is made up of oats and linseed. It's left entire, not harvested, as cover and feed for the birds during the winter months to help increase and protect uh, and give them a food source uh, during winter season. We as farmers see ourselves as custodians of the countryside and by participating in the REP scheme we are able to pass over our farms to the next generation in a healthy environmental state. Our farm has been participating in the Suckler Cow Welfare Scheme, a scheme designed by the Department of Agriculture to ensure stress is eliminated at three critical points in the animal's life dehorning, castration and weaning. By participating in the scheme, we can assure our customers that the beef produced from Irish suckler herds meet the highest welfare standards in the world. This scheme helps increase the efficiency of production and improve the carcass quality of beef on this farm. By measuring grass on a weekly basis, it helps ensure we grow the maximum amount of good leafy grass for the animals and helps us identify surpluses of grass that we can conserve for winter forage. The environmental performance of all 32,000 farms participating in the Board B Equality Assurance Scheme are now being tracked to demonstrate the green credentials of Irish beef production. Board B, in conjunction with the Carbon Trust and Chagas, have set up a pilot project on 200 farms to establish the carbon footprint of Irish beef production. This is the first scheme of its type in the world to incorporate an objective assessment of the carbon footprint of beef. It will enable Irish beef farmers to demonstrate how they're improving their environmental credentials and increasing productivity. Our farmers participating in that scheme and by calculating the stocking rate per hectare, the kilos of beef sold off the farm annually, the amount of artificial fertilizer used to produce grass, the length of the grass growing season, the amount of time that animals spend indoors, we are able to calculate a true carbon footprint of the beef produced on this farm. This linnet crop also helps us in our carbon footprint and ensuring we have biodiversity on the farm and increase the wildlife uh, on farm as well. By maximising the use of clover in the sward, we use less artificial fertiliser and this helps reduce our carbon footprint. All of the meals we feed are produced from cereals grown on the farm, such as this field of wheat. We reduce our dependence on imported feed. We are self-sufficient and thereby reduce our carbon footprint. 
Another element that helps reduce our carbon footprint is maximising the use of organic fertiliser produced on the farm. A more timely application of it maximises the grass we can grow with this organic fertiliser. By reducing our age at slaughter, increasing the use of clover in our grass swards and extending the grazing season, we are able to reduce the carbon footprint of beef produced on our farm. It is vital that we continue rearing beef to the highest eating quality, environmental and animal welfare standards in order that we get a fair return for the Irish suckler farmer, thereby securing the future of the Irish suckler herd.